What's up guys, Kosho here at Elite FTS. And uh, this is our behind the scenes series with the man, Kobe. He's like the director of this uh, Find Your Fire series, so we're really pumped to be doing it. Uh, but what we're gonna film right now is just gonna be a tribute to John Meadows for Elite FTS's uh, channel. So you're gonna wanna check that video out. It's really cool, he meant a lot to me. And I dive into just who he was as a person and then the training tactics that have helped me the most in my training. Uh, from them, we're gonna get Dave out here. Uh, ah, good. And Dave's pretty much gonna put me through a conjugate style workout. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do yet. We're gonna have a conversation with him about how we're gonna go about it. It's gonna be some whiteboard talk, all that good stuff. We'll do a full training video. I may throw Kobe into the fire and have him do it. No, 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 no. We're not sure yet, but we'll see. Uh, so that's what we have going on and we're just gonna get some behind the scenes footage throughout the day. So let's get to it. Uh, but sh you know, short story is I got out of my car, I was pretty nervous and this guy yelled across the parking lot. He was like, what's up big man? Like so good to see you. And uh, right away, it just kind of lit my soul up and uh, I just could tell it was gonna be a great experience from then on out. It was just such a refresher to meet somebody like that. So in that case, it was like doing the split lunges that we were doing, which you guys see on the video. Contrast method, maybe it's once a week you do this and that's in, in my case what I did. So I trained my four days a week. All right, so we just wrapped up the John Meadows tribute video. I thought it went really well. Uh, and just highlighting him as who he was as a person, individual. It, you guys, like I said in their video, it'd be a huge disservice if you didn't go and watch all John Meadows content, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, that legacy will live on for forever. And what he's done for the community and all the people uh, in that community is just, just amazing. So check him out. Uh, but now we're waiting on Dave, we're gonna get out here, figure out what we're doing for some training. And uh, we're just gonna get after it, man. I'm excited, it's gonna be a good day. The energy's good, we're flowing, we're awake. Probably gonna drink some caffeine and uh, hopefully we just destroy it. What I like to do when first starting, I like to have people face away from the rack and just do a few sets of box squats. Just. Okay. What I'll look at is knee position in relationship to the toe. All right, so it would be not in my best interest if I didn't use this beautiful monolift while I lead FTS. So uh, I'm working on no walkouts. Okay, I'm using the monolift and that's the reason why I'm not doing a walkout. Uh, a lot of people when they do walk the bar and there's nothing really wrong or right about it, but a lot of people that do the walkout kind of screw it up and they start pitter pattering their feet around, they're wasting energy, uh, they're losing you know, all their technique and their brace. We'll make a video about that in the future. Uh, but for me, because I'm using the monolift, I wanna focus on just lifting the bar up, then the monolift kicks out and I can go right into my squat. So it just cuts out all the little motions in between that can mess up uh, my technique or my ability to squat to the best of my ability. It's good, you think? Like with yeah, 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 that's good. Because see, once you get your stance in there, even if you feel the box against your step forward a little bit more. So where people get confused is I'm gonna cue you things to make you do, to make your foot stay flat. Okay. But they're gonna hear, oh, I thought the foot was supposed to be flat, but why is Dave telling Tell Joey yeah, to go on you, his toes, you. right? So, yeah. so this is for me, yes, specifically. Yes. The foot mid, mid, all in contact there. kids and when you're training other people those whatevers are a lot of the reason why they love going to the gym mm -hmm. so the couple ways I go about doing that is if they're in here I just do whatever you want because I can watch or if I had to for whatever reason program I would put in 15 minutes of whatever you want okay because how much damage can they really do in 15 yeah, minutes? yeah other big takeaway after seeing the last couple days is you, you need to work on focusing more in the set yeah. Right. It, where you're, you know everything you when you're doing a set, it's 
you've been saying I just want to get it over but that, that comes across the wrong way but I know where you're coming from yeah. because saying I just want to get it over means you don't want to do it you yeah. do want to do it right but you're losing that opportunity within that set to For be sure. able to maximize what's going on in that yeah. set from the mental standpoint yeah. uh, range of motion standpoint technique standpoint force tech you know so force of side let's just say you wanted to do more bodybuilding work and you want to control the tempo a little bit more Right, you probably hate doing that stuff because it makes you have to focus on what you're actually yeah, doing in the set, where you just want to do the ten reps. Yeah, those things you need to work on a okay. little bit. Um, not with everything because it's going to frustrate you. Yeah, because you still got to have that. that like yeah. we talked about before, <laughs> you still got to be that high schooler at certain uh -huh. times. So that's got to be built in there too. But I would work on that as well. All right, so we trained with, with Dave Tate. He put me through a lower body dynamic effort workout. Then we worked on some weak points, uh, which you guys are seeing throughout the footage here. And then we had lunch. We got a lunch break in. And then I just filmed a bunch of videos for Elite's channel. So make sure you guys go check out their channel, see all the videos I did. We did an athletic conditioning one. Uh, we did a press tutorial and we did kind of like key principles for training. Uh, so you guys should check that out. And then now, uh, Kobe's gonna train because that's really important to him. So we'll maybe get some footage of that. Maybe we won't. I don't know. And then we'll kind of just see where we're going from there. I'm not sure. Uh, I think Dave's gonna train at like 5:30. He asked if maybe I'd hang around. Uh, something about smoking a cigar after, and that's like, I mean, if Dave asks you to smoke a cigar, listen, you do it. If you don't do it, man, you are a stupid idiot. So. Uh, Maybe it'll just end the vlog with me taking a, a puff puff out of a stoke and being a boss. <laughs> All right guys, so I uh, just finished training with Dave. Uh, Kobe also got a session in. You know, we just kind of been hanging out, talking, communicating. Uh, it's pouring a monsoon out right now. Uh, so we're getting ready to head back to our Airbnb and then uh, we'll be on the road tomorrow. So we'll probably just grab dinner together. We'll probably won't video that or anything, uh, but it's just been an awesome stay. Had a blast here. I know I learned a ton of stuff. Kobe got put through a workout by Dave, which is pretty cool as well. So I know he learned some things. And uh, now it's time to continue on the journey of finding the fire. What did you just ask me, fool? You didn't even know how to turn that thing on. Yeah, I know how to turn All this right. thing on. Yeah, I'm gonna train. You've been standing around looking like a dweeb this whole time. Forgot Get the camera off. Turn the camera off. You this is not my video anymore. Did. What? It's my channel. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm just a meathead. 